Good morning, sisters and brothers. Welcome to our celebration of Holy Mass. Mass is offered for the following intentions. Special intention, A1 Pier and Inshan Ramsu. Special blessings and anniversary blessings for Ian and Giselle Ford. Birthday blessings, Matthew Hines and Sheena Hingson. Belated birthday blessings for Joanne Ragbeer and Hugh Ramsey, who celebrated their birthdays yesterday. And Hugh is here with us today. Hugh celebrated his 88th birthday. Happy birthday. Successful surgery for Russell Lewis. Special blessings for Francois Sylvester and Elijah Ragbeer. And that's for success in exams. Thanksgiving, Phyllis Alexander, Teresita Gausa, Ken, Jaden Hurtado, Patricia Carr and family, Maria Afong and family, Herman Richardson and family, the Oliver family, Diane Montai, Tommy Chansong, Annette Winford and family, Rita Oliver and family, Patsy Holder and family, Alicia Francois and family. For healing, Maureen, Roberto, Roxanne Richards, Chris Voodoo, Derek Downey, and Brian Carr. For the repose of the souls of Oscar Francois, Ellis Peters, and Selby Mathlon. And we continue to offer all the other prayer intentions in our basket. I invite you to stand for the Synod prayer. We stand, we stand before, before you, Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, as we gather in your, your name. name. With you, With you alone, alone to guide us, us make, yourself make yourself at home in our, in our hearts. hearts. Teach, Teach us the way we must go, go and how we are, are to, pursue to pursue it. We are weak, weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. disorder. Do not, not let, let ignorance lead us down, down the wrong path, path nor, nor partiality influence our actions. Let, let us find in you our unity so that we may journey together to eternal life and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you, who are at work in every place and time, in the communion of the Father and the Son, forever and ever. Amen. Rejoice, 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 heavenly powers, sing choirs of angels. Rejoice, 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 all God's people, Christ is risen. O earth in the brightness of your King, Christ has conquered, glory fills you. O Mother Church, rejoice in glory, sound the trumpet of salvation. Rejoice, 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 heavenly powers, sing choirs of angels. Rejoice, 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 all God's people. Christ is risen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of God's Holy Spirit, be with you always. And with you Good mon spirit. morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome. Today we celebrate the uh, martyrdom of St. Stanislaw, uh, a bishop from Poland who gave his life, shed blood for truth. So though there will be persecution, there's a promise. Today we see in the Bible again, Though Peter and Paul experiences, Peter and John rather experiencing resurrected power, they have to fight persecution. So Easter doesn't end with joy like that way, but the promise of resurrection. Just bow our heads and in the midst of persecution, have we gone back to our old ways? Peter went back to fishing. He said, let me go. Everybody went. People have forgotten Easter maybe and still living in a Good Friday-ish kind of Lack of joy, half joy, half fear, half witness. It's either all or nothing. This thing real. And sin separates us from heaven. Today he says whoever believes has heaven. So we need to use the sacrament of reconciliation during this Easter tide and confess sin here and before the authority of the church, the priest. I confess to Almighty God. And to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned 
in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May he forgive us all our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, you continue to gather us. You woke us up. Sunshine and good and bad alike, just and unjust. Lord, help us to recognize your mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, you still visit us in word today. It will shake our hearts. In the Eucharist, you will feed and nourish the soul. Lord, help us to be ready and worthy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, your word is clear. Whoever believes has eternal life. Who does not believe and disobey will not. Lord, where will we spend our eternity? The devil is fighting for our destiny. Help us to choose you. Resurrection. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Oh God, for whose honor the bishop, St. Stanislaw, fell beneath the swords of persecutors. Father, we pray that we may persevere strong in faith, even unto death. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Sit, listen to persecution. Very first time for Peter and John. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the officials had brought the apostles in to face the Sanhedrin, the high priest demanded an explanation. We gave you a formal warning, he said, not to preach in this name. And what have you done? You have filled Jerusalem with your teaching and seem determined to fix the guilt of this man's death on us. In reply, Peter and the apostles said, Obedience to God comes before obedience to men. It was the God of our ancestors who raised up Jesus, but it was you who had him executed by hanging on a tree. By his own right hand, God has now raised him up to be leader and savior, to give repentance and forgiveness of sins through him, to Israel. We are witnesses to all this, we and the Holy Spirit, whom God has given to those who obey him. This so infuriated them that they wanted to put them to death. The word of the Lord. This poor man called, and the Lord heard him. This poor man called, and the Lord heard him. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise always on my lips. Taste and see that the Lord is good. He is happy who seeks refuge in him. This poor man called and the Lord heard him. The Lord turns his eyes to the just and his ears to their appeal. They call and the Lord hears and rescues them in all their distress. This poor man called, and the Lord heard him. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. Those whose spirit is crushed, he will save. Many are the trials of the just man, but from them all the Lord will rescue him. This poor man called, and the Lord heard him. Alle, alle, alleluia, alle, alleluia. Alle, alle, alleluia, alle, alle, alleluia, alle, alleluia, alle, alle, alleluia. Christ has risen, he who created all things and has granted his mercy to men. Alle, alle, alleluia. Alleluia. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. In the words of my mind, my lips, and my heart proclaim good news. John the Baptist said to the disciples, He who comes from above is above all others. He who is born of the earth is earthly himself and speaks only in an earthly way. He who comes from heaven bears witnesses to the things he has seen and heard. Even his testimony is not even accepted. Though all who accept his testimony are attesting to the truthfulness of God, since he whom God has sent speak God's own words. God gives him the spirit without reserve. God loves the son and has entrusted everything to him. But anyone who believes in the Son has eternal life. But anyone who refuses to believe in the Son will never see life. The anger of God stays on him. Good news, gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord Jesus not sure if you recall last time I gave you an exercise it's called triple jump. Peter was re preaching repentance. Don't think things normal after resurrection is when things start. When good people do nothing, the devil wins. You can't stop. The devil could not stop the mystery, the Paschal, the death, and the resurrection. But he could stop how we witness and how we live, how half-hearted how half-joyed, how fearful we are. That's where he wants to poke us with. He's alive and he's real. He went here and says, at the hour of death, Jesus said, not your will, my will. God's will. He couldn't have stopped resurrection, but he could stop how you live, witness, half joy, half ish. I come in, I'm going back. Peter said, I'm going back fishing. Peter left Jerusalem and went back fishing. And he saw God's face. Some we going back business as normal. It can't be business as normal. Resurrection is real. I do not know how my car works. I just do so. Ch -ch -ch. When it's tall, I leave it right here. But I know it work. I don't know how faith works, but I know it works. You don't have to see to know. Blessed are those who have not yet seen, but believe. Peter told, Jesus told Thomas that. Seeing is believing, but believing is seeing. You don't see, believing is not head, you know, uh, intellectual. Believing is a kind of total trust and dependent that this thing work, this thing real, and I will witness to it. That's why Peter was preaching a whole turnaround repentance. That's why he says, can you go to confession in the octave, from the octave Sunday going when it's ended, to ascension, and from the ascension to Pentecost. Because the thing called sin real, and the devil poke in. That's why the devil cannot stop it. There's a still kind of lingering, we like Good Friday, I went to a praise and worship this. Lift Jesus high. Oh, go. Sing to him hallelujah now. It's Easter. Fix your face now. It's Easter. We have to live resurrection. It's a whole new creation. If we are Easter people, we cannot be afraid. He said in Matthew 28. It's very clear. You have to establish an Easter witness, a joy. Though there will be persecution today, stand and slow, murdered, killed for the sake of the gospel. When good people say nothing, evil wins. There's so much happening in the world today. We must speak out. We don't have to go to a church. You know why I say babies dying today. Neck gone. War in Holy Land. And you're just normal. We're just gazing. And good people do nothing. Peter and John give their life. Stanislaw gave you life. Will you? you? We tell you don't preach. You go on preaching. You fill the whole place of Jerusalem. It's a kind of ain't stopping me now. I have witnessed, I'm an Easter person, I'm singing hallelujah, I'm a witness, I have an act of repentance to do, and I will go to the sacrament, because I want not to have you to say the anger of God stays on you. It's clear, whoever believes, it's not believing in head and attending it, it's whoever go out there and witness the power of resurrection. It's easy to say, Lord, Lord, it's easy to attend, it's easy to pretend, it's easy to show up. We are show up Catholics, you know. Sometimes show off. Halfish, half lukewarm, so so, you know, twilighters, going back fishing, half passionate. You gotta be, you gotta get from your belly. Then me say, me father, you're talking to Lord and Father. I have it in my belly. I can't help it. I don't know. Help me, Lord. Until I'm dead. It is something in my belly, girl. I don't know how it's working. I try my best to slow down. <laughs> it's hard. 
Ain't no stopping. It's wrong, but hard. The good news is that you're not covenanted to death. And a life of death is a culture of death are wrong. There's no respect for human life. There's no human family again. Who is speaking? Who is praying? Pray for the FCA and pray for my mother and pray for my brother and da, 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 and pray for my, my, me. Have you prayed for the war? Have you prayed for the child? Have you prayed for nobody? Have nobody to pray for them? No, it's all about me. The middle letter of sin is, I won't allow the, the world to entomb me and I won't allow the, the world to roll the stone back away. We will rise again. He has risen because he is risen. We obey God, not man. The world has gone crazy. And that's why Peter and John and all the disciples and St. Stanislaw spoke boldly and firmly and fully. You can't be halfway. If this thing real, if it's real, it's either all or nothing. It can't be half. Lukewarm. One foot in, he said, I will vomit you out. Today he says, my anger is on you. You're attending and you're preaching. But God angers on you because you're not witnessing. And the worst evil is when the devil wants you to feel you're holy. A good you know, went to Mars as a priest. That's when the devil works in. You think you're holy by holiness and piety. A man stood up for injustice. I was a prison chaplain. And he stood up for injustice in the world in Trinidad. And they put him in Golden Grove. So I went to visit him. He said, Father, I'm all right. I'm in prison. I said, boy, are you in prison? The other people who were also in the group with him, who were posing, came to visit him. They asked him, why are you in prison? You know, we asked them, why are you not in prison? <laughs> Power. How courageous are we to carry out the dictates of your conscience? Some of us have a conscience. You know what a conscience is? an interior, it's a vicar of the soul to tell you something wrong and right. God speaking to you. You have a conscience. We just finished church, and that's where we go say. You just received Jesus, and that's where we go do. You just preach. You just went through the tritium, and that's how you're behaving. You're going back fishing, half-hearted, half-witness, half-joy. You're locked away in the room again, and opposed to law, contrary, contrary to, to the gospel of Jesus, and contrary to the common good, and for the love of the poor. We had no water in, in Mont Diablo. And it's not a Christian thing. All the churches got together and said, Wasa, fix the leak. The pain of other people must become your concern. I come in and I'm preaching and I'm preaching and I'm preaching. And people don't have water in my village. And I know them all. If you, don't, if you don't feel it, I suggest God's anger stays on you. I'm just suggesting, church, God, God loves the poor. And if you love God, it'll love who God loves. If it's all about me, something wrong. And that's why in Matthew 5, he says there's a blessing. Blessed are those who persecute you for righteousness, for there's their kingdom. So you can oppose the written and sometimes unwritten law. Can I get a hear, man? You can't go naked, but when cannibal, two days they could go naked. Something wrong. Convenient. Sometimes the law is for some and not for some, including priests. When good people do nothing, evil wins. And the stone is rolled away. Church, he says, I will not be stingy with my Holy Spirit. I'm giving you all Holy Spirit. It's all or nothing. I'm not stingy. As the Father sent me, I'm sending you. He, I'm breathe. God breathe. Did I, I scream? He breathes. And he, the whole new creation. He breathes. God lives in you. And even if you disobey, even if you're half, you go back, you turn, and you put the lid. Sometimes I think we put a lid on our face. You put a lid on the treasure of Christianity and Catholicism. And don't speak and witness it out. And you're suppressing the stifle it. The leak, we can fix the leak. I tell Wasa, we can when you make a good confession. I can't tell you to do the triple jump. If you forget the octave, pick it up from ascension. You have to fix the, fix the cracks that we go on back normal again. And we're running away from persecution because with persecution comes a promise. You have St. Peter, you have St. John, you have St. You will hear about St. Christo. <laughs> a big mouth maybe. I don't know what, what will be my, I don't know. You make an Easter repentance. Whatever way it is, charity to the poor, changing your prayer, changing the way, I don't know. 
You know what it means to repent is changing your whole mind away from what the world is teaching us. Look at the world 2,000 years after. We are killing babies. War in holy land where the man walked and talked. And are we doing anything? Are you? Are we praying? Are we standing? Are we building consciousness? I don't have a clue. You tell me. Repair the leak and the crack and this kind of halfishness. Can I have joy? Can I? Uh, amen. Amen. Can I get amen? Can I get a nod from all you? Can I get a nod? One nod. <laughs> because whoever believes has eternal life. You have a choice that Deuteronomy says today. Whoever believes has it, who does, who disobey has no life. Choice. Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy had it with Moses. Very clear. There's always a crossroad when you're sinning. When you come to sin, it's a crossroad. Before, before sin is temptation, he has reached a crossroad. Two roads, two roads diverge. I took a man says the one as the one that's least travel. There's something called upstream, the world is coming down. You had to travel on the road, least travel. It made up the difference. You may have to shed dry blood. Whoever believes has eternal life. I can't tell you how that car walk. But I could, can't deny you that it walk. I can't tell you what this is and how it did. All I know it exists. I can't tell you that way for real. But it's real. I can't tell you what he's asking is to go out there and to be a full, committed witness of joy. I could tell you what we're doing. We ain't reached there yet. Are we far off? Do, can you nourish that and witness it and feed that spirit inside of us? Because with persecution, it is coming. It must. Whoever believes will be persecuted. Will you rise again? Because my Redeemer, I sing because my Redeemer lives. He's risen indeed. Let's close your eyes with persecution. Comes promise. Now I know my Redeemer lives. And if he lives, you have to witness I to that new life. My Redeemer lives. Why linger? Why be a half witness? Let all creation. Satan can't. Tessie stop resurrection, but he can stop the way we witness and we live and we stand up and be counted I among persecuted. You have a choice. It's eternal life. Whoever believes has. Now I know Anyone who refuses and disobeys and don't stand for truth, even to the point of prison, blood, the anger of God stays on him. My Redeemer Lord, we thank you for Peter and John and so many other saints named, unnamed. Amen. We pray for our church. Holy Father, we will stand up for truth and oppose anything that's contrary to the good news and the gospel, especially the dignity of human life and protection of children, pornography, and neck cut off. Lord, we pray our church will make a difference. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, we pray for this temptation to go back half-heartedness and half-joy and so-so and fearful and is that all or nothing? The devil cannot stop resurrection, but he's reducing the way we witness resurrection. That's where he's getting we. Sunday is a day of resurrection. Church should be full. we the people. we the Easter people. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, Peter and John stood up firmly Ain't no stopping them now. We are Easter people. We are fully committed. Because they were not covenanted to death. They didn't allow anybody to entomb them. They didn't allow anybody to roll our stone away. They preached truth. They obeyed God, not man. Lord, help us to obey you. Your law. 
and your spirit that lives in us. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious. Lord, you're not stingy. You give, every, you give everything. We put a lid, Lord. I don't know. We half. We put a lid. Sadden the spirit. We suppress it. We stifle it. And there are leaks in our lives now, even after Easter. Can we repair it quickly, Lord, with the sacrament you give us and left? When you breathe, those sins you retain, they are those sins you forgive. You breathe on Easter evening. Why are we not picking up to patch the leak? And we think we're normal. We're not normal. Look at the world. And we can't stand for truth. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, we want eternal life. I don't know about you all. I want to see God's face. Whoever believes, Lord. It's called faith. I don't know how, but I know it exists. I can't deny it. What's on this altar and what you're calling us for. You, says, you said, as a father sent me, I'm sending you. Do we understand that call? He calls us to come and go. He never says, come and stay. Go, witness. Shed blood. There's a promise after persecution. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious. Lord, we pray that we continue to feed our faith. Just how we feed the body and think about the earthly and the worldly things. You said it today in the first reading and second reading and the gospel. There is something beyond. Help us to feed the spirit. We are Easter people. And resurrection, body and soul rise. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. O oh God, who by the grace of your Holy Spirit, yes, temper the soul of Gordon God Anthony Pantin with fortitude and humility, and raise him to be priest, Archbishop of the Archdiocese of Port of Spain, that he may be a bearer of your life-giving word to the people of Trinidad and Tobago. Grant us the grace to be strong in faith, humbly confident in your aid, and tireless in doing good. Bestow upon us, we humbly pray, through the intercession of this beloved servant of yours, Gordon Anthony Panton, the special grace which we seek from your sovereign goodness, in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Father, through your goodness, we have received this bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Jesus. He humbled himself to come and share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Father, through your goodness, we have received this wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, Lord, may we be acceptable to you, Lord. Lord, may our sacrifice this morning in your sight be pleasing to you. Lord, wash my iniquity. Lord, take away my, my sin, hypocrisy, and selfishness. Pray, brothers and sisters, that your sacrifice and mine will be acceptable to God, your Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. For the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of his hope. Lord, look with such serenity and kindness, we pray, upon these sacred offerings, that they may be filled with the blessing of the Holy Spirit and stir up internally in our hearts that powerful love through the holy mart of St. Stanislaw, overcome with every bodily persecution and torment. To Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with yours. Lift spirit. up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, everlasting God, for the blood of the blessed martyr, Stanislaw, poured out like Christ to glorify your holy name in the midst of persecution, shows forth your marvelous promise and work by which in our weakness you perfect your power and on the feeble, on the feeble bestow strength 
to bear your witness to Christ our Lord. So the powers of heaven may worship you constantly on earth before your majesty without end. We all now acclaim holy, 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 holy. Lord. God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are indeed holy. Lord, you are the font of all holiness. Come, make holy therefore these gifts, we pray. By sending on your spirit upon them like true fall, they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God, Lord, save our world. Let us stand and be witness to resurrection and not sit on the lid of the treasure of your spirit. Bow your heads, church. Let's pray for the world, our country, wrapped with sin and war, and total disrespect for the dignity of the human person. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you, drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. My Lord and my God, the Lord said he would not be stingy with himself, the spirit, as we who have leaks and cracks and going back half witness. Mend it now. Commit it now. Bow your heads and receive. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection. Until you come again. Therefore, we celebrate the memorial of your death and resurrection. Lord, we offer you the bread of life, the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks, you've held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. Lord, humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church. Hmm. Spread throughout this world. Lord, bring this church to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis the first Apo. Charles Jason Gordon, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember all those who have died, Lord. Grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may become one with him now in resurrection. Remember those who died at the hands of war struck countries. And remember all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection and those who have died in your mercy. Father, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, we pray, through the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, our patron saint for the chapel. St. Clair, all the blessed apostles, St. Stanislaw, our martyr for today, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. Father, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life. Father, we may praise you. Father, we may glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him and in him. O oh God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory, all honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to see our, our Father. Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us the day of our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, deliver us from the devil. He's not giving up. He's fighting for eternity and making us half joy and witness. He cannot stop that resurrection. He can't. He want to stop we. Grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, Father, we may always be free from sin. It separates us from heaven, eternal life. 
Keep us safe from distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord, you are clear. You give your spirit abundantly. You're not stingy. Why we are? Look not on our sin. Look at the fate of your church. Grant peace and unity in accordance with your will, where you live forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with yours. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Lord, may the receiving of your body and blood never bring us judgment and our own condemnation. Lord, through your loving mercy, Lord, protect our mind and body. Be a healing remedy. Lord, we sick. Lord, we sin sick. All are in the same boat. Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word. May the body and blood of Jesus Christ keep us all safe, everlasting life. Sons of God, hear his holy word. Gather round the table of the Lord. Eat his body, drink his blood. And we'll sing a song of love. Allelu, 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 alleluia. Brother. The table of the Lord, eat his body, drink his blood, and we'll sing a song of love. Allelu, 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 alleluia. Shout together to the Lord, who has promised all reward. Happiness a hundredfold, and we live forever. Sons of God, hear his holy word. Gather round the table of the Lord. Eat his body, drink his blood, and we'll sing a song of love. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Sacrament most holy, or sacrament divine. All praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. The promise of Jesus, whoever eats my body, whoever drinks my blood, lives in me. I live in them. I will raise you up on the last day. O sacrament most holy. Sacrament divine. All praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Devil fighting for us in this Easter witness, kind of halfish, half joy. 
You want to steal that Easter joy. Say, Michael, the archangel, the final sinister yeah, battle. Be our safeguard against the, the wickedness, wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God we rebuke him, we humbly, humbly pray. pray. And, and to the our prince of a heavenly host, by the power of God, cast, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through this world, seeking, seeking the ruin of our souls. Soul. Let us Amen. pray. Renewed by the substance of the one bread, O Lord, on the commemoration of the blessed martyr Stanislaw, we humbly pray, Father, that we may confirm us ever in your charity and allow us to walk in the newness of resurrected life. To Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with yours. Bow your heads. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, come long upon you. Remain with you. Preserve you from the devil. Grant you everlasting life. Master said it. Go. Glorify God with your lives. Thanks be to God. Have a wonderful day in the Lord. Save Amen. You, Continue your Easter joy. Our recessional hymn. You shall be my witnesses. shall be my witnesses on to the ends of the earth witnessing to my truth and to my love if you follow Bye.